a lot of great work has already been done by people before us and as learners it's our duty to find current leaders who can inspire us in the field of robotics i came across sebastian castro through his blog an advice to young engineers this blog really resonated with my own understanding my experiences about knowledge in robotics we are going to go through key four pillars that he mentions in his blog starting with the very first one focus on the problem not just tools it is naturally very exciting to have multiple tools under your belt and adding more tools to it i understand ros2 i understand isaac sim vrep foxglove vbots everything but engineering at its core is solving the problem in front of you I remember a state where I was making a self-balancing robot and I searched a lot of libraries going to the MATLAB libraries and all of these and I found out that I have wasted a lot of my time almost a week to just make the robot balance stand straight so I then started to work on finding out what is the thing that I need so I found out that self-balancing robot is only working on the error produced on the acceleration of an imu so this is one variable that i have to control and compute an error then i started implementing my own control algorithm simple proportional controller and i was able to balance the robot it was jerky it needed improvements and stabilization but at the very core i was just looking at how to self balance a robot now think about it if i have just started with ros2 and isaac sim simulation setup for just self balancing robot so it's an overkill and overkill but keeping things simple understanding your requirements save a lot of your time you don't need to focus on the tools you have to focus on the problem to produce an outcome the second pillar is work with integrity and avoid shortcuts we all love shortcuts and we also understand that shortcuts cost more in the long run but what can we do it's natural Sebastian focuses on the point of a lot of courses that promise big things learn robotics in 5 hours and it's been almost 7 years and i have been working on robotics and i can tell you i am very basic at robotics and i know very little in the domain of robotics so how can 5 hour course even teach you i have a lot of courses but you can teach tools in a very small number of hours but you cannot teach the whole domain or you are not even telling the actual things in the course you have to be very aware of these learning shortcuts that you can find online second thing is integrity and quality of your work when you are working if you have a team perfect if you are working alone most of the cases for people they are researching and they are working alone you need to get feedback you write code you select a software you select a tool you have to get feedback from people around you if you don't online communities are there because you are looking at things from one perspective if there is something missing don't look for another tool write the code improve the quality and get feedback and make systems to find the quality of your work by yourself it can be unit test it can be some sort of testing mechanism qa frameworks that tells you about the quality that you have produced by writing software for robotics coming to the next one that is accepting the finite nature of knowledge nowadays we have a lot of information flowing through the internet into our brain but experiences and knowledge is something different great people have produced great products that help humanity to progress farther for the reason that they have worked together this is very important thing because someone might be very good at programming someone might be good at understanding theoretics and combine they produce amazing thing as you can understand why companies hire different people for different roles ai department is different robotics department is different controls is different software development testing and simulation is different let's take a look on to an example of figure ai which is a very great humanoid robot company the jobs are quite unique human robot operator the ai department can say robot simulation robot manipulation robot behavior on the other side there is a control department that requires senior robotics control engineer we can understand from different companies that the departments are different they combine people to work on a problem and produce something useful examples like these and other companies are producing amazing products but you have to understand this there are core things on robotics slam state estimation navigation localization sensor calibration all of these are always going to be involved in a robot and 
whenever there is an actual robot you have to be good at one of it to fit into the company so focus on any one important aspect of robotics then you can fit into the company and accept that you have limited experience and knowledge you have now the ability to compress that knowledge and give it to someone else so they can save time this happens with the circle of sharing of knowledge and when you share something it gets more clear to you first and then to the next person because you are looking at it from different aspects than previous knowledge now in my experience i have created a lot of youtube videos around tools like ross to some about robotics careers and i found that as i teach people as i give information that i have by sharing it i understand more deeply about the problems of things now if we look at from a different perspective from monetary benefit from social benefit for experience benefit for job opportunities research opportunities benefit i get a lot of these because of the reason that i am sharing what i have so i would recommend you if you are starting to learn there are stages start by sharing what you have learned a practical approach to solve your problem in front of you benefits a lot and if you share that solution it again benefits a lot so this whole video is sharing of knowledge sebastian castro provided the base of this whole video and the content of it so this sharing of knowledge has helped you as well so keep on sharing the knowledge and build good robotics products